Hello everyone, my name is Hilary Chin. Today I want to show you how to connect your Kobo toolbox to your Google Sheet and from your Google Sheet you also connect it to your Power BI. Once they answer data in your um, um, Kobo toolbox form, it comes in your Google Sheet and then automatically comes in your um, Power BI. Okay, let's get in and show you. Let me show you how to connect your Kobo toolbox with your Google Sheet. Um, we, we are going to be looking at the API from Kobo Toolbox and connecting with our Google Sheet. Please remember to subscribe and also write down below what you think about um, this video. Um, of course, we are in uh, the Kobo Toolbox, Toolbox, Toolbox website and we are in my account right now. This is the form that we want to connect. We just need to, we have we already, um, I think this is, we, are, we have already reviewed the form and we want to come here and just click delete. And this is the name of the form, Google Sheet Connection, okay? So what we need to do while we are here, um, we had already done two submissions, which we are going to be seeing in our Kobo toolbox um, in a moment. Here we first, what we need to do here, we need to be using settings and data. Okay, we first of all come to setting here. Once we come to setting, we click sharing. Um, it's a simple process. And when you click, click sharing here, uh, make sure you are on the right form, Google Sheet connection. Make sure you check here to see if you're on the right form. Um, just make sure you click this on and you click this on okay make sure you click anyone can view this form anyone can view submissions made to this form okay when you click those on you come now to your data um, in your data you click um, download okay and when you click download you see something here it, it, you have advanced um, option here let me first delete this let me delete this um, for a moment okay great so just come here and make sure that you select you come here make sure that you select separate columns you also have single columns single and separate column make sure you separate you select separate columns and then when you want to select separate columns you make sure you include data from all one versions you come here include media urls you want to save this um selection as okay this is a default name that i always advise you write um uh, this name was not here i'm the one that wrote it here you see okay you can you see so you can select this and then you come up a double click and you write dashboard okay i just want you to know that this area is active okay to put in an information so we are going to be using this to select the form amongst other forms okay when we get to the api system of Kobo toolbox so right here after we must have done all this um i think you can drop this down okay no you can just you see um great perfect and then apply save ex settings apply saved export settings so we now come and then we click export okay and we'll give it some time great um, when we click export it gives you some time here you see here we have all this information is still processing okay great now here we can download this form to excel sheet from here but we don't want to do that now here we come here and then we go to this url up here and we select from here and we get to info here and we delete and then we write api slash v2 okay v2 this is important um, to note and then once we write this we now so we click ctrl c we come to a new browser and then we paste it there and then we click ok and once we click ok it's going to bring us here you see it says to go to box form builder api okay we come to this first asset here up here which is um https um as i think colon uh, double slash kobo dot humanitarian response dot info dot api dot v2 slash v2 asset slash assets etc so you come here and you click okay you click here so when you click here it launches you back into um the internal api system of kobo toolbox see here we are now wow here we are and there's something i want you to know here there's a lot of different api of project here and even uh, their um, um url addresses here so you see that we can get confused because all my projects that i've created they are all found here but now i need to start using the word find so i need to put ctrl f it brings out this dialog box and i start typing dashboard you see here we have dashboard here okay why because right here we saved it as dashboard okay so we go back there and then it helps us to pick out this particular project that we are looking for 
So we come to this um, URL here that is saved inside its SCV file. And then we hover around with our mouse and then we select from there, okay? So once you select this um, URL here, excluding the quotations, you just right click and then it says copy this URL. And then you bring it now and you go to your Google Sheet. We we'll just go to Sheet New. This is a short form, Sheet.new. This is a short form to get your Google Sheet. And you click there and you allow it to open. Once your Google Sheet opens like this, you come up here to this first um, cell A1, and then you just click inside the equals to, and then you write import data. Um, that's the formula to bring in this data. Import. Make sure your spellings are okay, and then you open your bracket, and then you do some open quotations, and then you paste Control V. This is the URL that you copied from um, the API system. You pick, you paste it here, and then you close your quotations, and then you put comma. You open your quotations again you put semicolon and then you close your quotations and then you put some brackets again and you click enter and you give it some time okay and it is going to boot and bring in all the data from Kobo toolbox you see we had two submissions okay amazingly it was asking for how many boys here it was asking for how many girls here you see now now we have our data here okay right now I can decide to go back to Kobo toolbox here Okay, um, I can decide to go back to Kobo Toolbox here and then I go to my form. Okay, inside my form, I copy this form URL and I bring it here. I want us to submit, so do some other submission here. And I click, it. I want us to do more submissions so you see how it reacts. Okay, so you see how it reacts. So, right here, I want us to put um, 1000 boys um, 2000 girls community a and then we submit okay great we have submitted so we we'll first come to Kobo toolbox here and then we click we we'll refresh from up here you see now so we want to refresh uh, so when we refresh it brings in the data in Kobo toolbox okay we want to refresh to make sure we have those submissions they are not here yet um, they are not here yet. Mm. Okay, great. Now we have three submissions. Okay, let's go back to Google Sheet now and see how it works. Okay, let's also refresh Google Sheet. Okay, we want to also refresh Google Sheet. You see how those data will be imported here um, in a short while. We just need some time. So you see um, right here. As we answered the, the form, you see we had updates. This is the third update we had. So we had how many girls? We you remember we put two thousand for girls, and then we put um, one thousand for boys. So this is how it reacts when you connect it with um, Google Sheets. Everything that comes into the Power um, uh, um, um, Kubo Toolbox, it automatically transfers in your Google Sheet. After you have connected your um, um, Kobo toolbox to your Google Sheet. Um, the next thing that is to connect your Google Sheet to um, Power BI is very easy. All you need to do is to come to Power BI here and click Get Data from here, and then you see you go to More. So once you click uh, there, it brings you here, and then you go to Orders. When you select Orders, you look carefully. Just look carefully here. I can still come here and search Google Sheet. Okay, Google Sheet. You see, so we have our Google Sheet here and you click. Okay, and then you put connect. It brings you here. Um, you go now to your Google Sheet. Make sure you take the exact sheet that was connected to your Kobo toolbox. And then you come up here and collect this link. Okay, you see this link up here? You come here and you, you copy this link. Control C. And you go now to your power bi here and then you paste it inside this space here and you click ok it means right now um you can get data from kobo toolbox google sheet directly to power bi now because you are working with google products it's uh, it asks you to sign in okay you are you are in sign in so you have to click sign in here you need now to have your google account you kept you keep insisting you have to keep insisting 
until you are signed and you keep insisting you see i'm insisting i keep insisting until it will give me a prompt that now asks my google gmail account you see we are going there right now so while we are here we just go directly to my account new semo 12 at gmail account you click um so when you click here um you realize that it already says power bi dexo wants to additional one additional access to your google account you see so you just click continue because you are accessing a google product okay you're trying to create those relationships now it says signs incomplete here you can return to the application feel free to close this browser tab you just close perfect here we are so we click connect now that's it sign as a different user no you are currently signed in you see so you just click connect so after a while it brings you here and then this is the sheet we have here and then you just click and then you see it will now give you you see these are the three um these are the three um um, um, um questions that we had for kobo toolbox and that was brought in google sheet and that has been brought in now in our power bi so if we keep putting data there this is how you keep changing okay you keep changing and updating from here so i can just click load let's just click load here now so we can start creating visuals now um thank you all very much um this was all we had for you um please do well to follow us and see how we can come up with other ideas uh, to build our capacity thank you so much this was all about connecting your cobalt toolbox to google sheet and from your google sheet to uh power bi god bless you